you. Um, it's, it's my pleasure to address you all today. Um, I speak to you as the child of two people who were executed uh, when I was six years old. Um, I got involved in the case of Mumia Abu Jamal uh, when I realized over 20 years ago that he was the first political prisoner in the United States to face execution since my parents. Um, and to add to what Robert said, I support Mumia because Mumia is the voice of the voiceless. Through his resistance and writing, Mumia has gained more attention for other prisoners than almost anybody else in the United States. True millions, the millions imprisoned in my country have not received enough attention. But that is not Mumia's fault. He is their champion, and those seeking to silence him know it. There is more than one way to kill a person in prison. You don't need a barbaric execution. You can let someone die from medical neglect. We can't let that happen to Mumia. We must support his F efforts to obtain medical care, an effort he is taking not only on behalf of himself, but on behalf of thousands of other prisoners in Pennsylvania who are being denied adequate medical care. Mumia speaks for them all. And just as he asserts his solidarity with them, it is our job to act in solidarity with him. And that's why we are here and ask you to join us. But I also have another reason for speaking to you tonight. Uh, in the last year, new evidence has emerged that my mother, Ethel Rosenberg, was not a spy. This has caused my brother and I to initiate a petition campaign asking or demanding that the Obama administration, before Obama leaves office, exonerate my mother. Why is this so important today, over 60 years after she was killed? The government of the United States has never admitted that it executed an innocent person. An admission that it executed an innocent woman for political purposes would help all of today's death row prisoners, some 3,000 of them or more, some of whom are innocent. So I ask you to do one simple thing with regards to my mother, and that is to visit the website of the Rosenberg Fund for Children, a foundation that I founded in 1990 to provide for the educational and emotional needs of the, tar of the children of targeted activists in the United States, to visit their website, which is very simple, rfc.org, and there you will see obvious directions to sign that petition. As particularly as members of the parliament, you have moral authority and a lot of force, and this will make a tremendous difference to us. Once again, I thank you for allowing me to address you.